Hello, welcome back for more Super Mega Baseball 4. Today we have games 12 between the Neon and the Bottlenoses. Neon are on the road once again. They have currently an 8-3 record and coming off of the worst defeat in the team's history in the last game to the Bandits. So they're going to look to try to turn the thing around. They've lost two straight. And the Bottlenoses are 5-6. and six. They are going to send Nehemiah Gilmore to the mound. He's 0-0, 245 ERA. And Grace Smythe's going to be pitching for the Neon. He's 2-0 with a 188 ERA. So let's get to the lineups. These two teams met previously twice last season. They split the series, one of win a piece. So both teams are trying to get a win here to take the advantage in that series. And Sloan's a little slumping. Do we want to take him out? Possibly. I mean, we could always bring him back in. I guess we'll put Overly out there. Everybody else is fine. Shipwreck's looking a little down. Let's take her out. Actually, let's take Lushley out first. Put Bird back in there. Because Lushley could play right. Could she play other positions? She can play right. She can play outfield. Okay. So she will go in left. Everybody else is fine. Take that back. Roach is going to come out. Even though he's got high morale, Phillips is a better player. I guess this will do it. Yeah, this will do it. All right, let's get to the game. Nothing doing on the neon side. No morale, no nothing. I wouldn't expect any any positives coming out of his last two games. Luckily, they don't have no negatives. Bottlenoses, on the other hand, they got two negatives: Norton and Fry, and two bonus ones with Vainman and Pullman, Pullbean. And Fry's got a chemistry bonus as well. Playing at Battery Bay. I don't remember playing here. I'm pretty sure we have, but I just don't recall. It's kind of hard to not notice a big roller coaster in the background, but I don't know. I just don't recall playing here. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we did, though. Anyway, Bottlenoses are taking the field, and Barraz and Overly and Bird are going to be leading off the game here in top of the first. Here's Barraz stepping into the box for the first time. He's batting 250 with two homers and three RBIs. You like to get this season going. He's starting off pretty slow. So he takes a ball inside. This one's a strike inside. So he fouls this one back. It's one and two. Check swing, but it's inside. Shatters his bet, fouls it to the right hand side. This will drop foul. Shot through the left side into left field, and Brahas will be safe at first with a leadoff single. And the Neon are off and running here in the first. This Overly steps in. Been 235. No homers, only the one RBI. Let's like get his season going, too. So he takes a ball low in the first pitch. Strike low. That looked pretty low. It'd be a strike. Hits this one in the center. This is going to hang up long enough to be caught. That's out number one. That'll bring Kalani Bird up for the first time. Bat at 268. Two homers and seven RBIs. Whole team as a whole has been kind of slumping here in the last few. She takes a strike outside. Fouls this one to the right. It's 0 2. Smokes this one. She got all of it. This is going to be long gone. Deep center. Home run for Bird. Just as I was saying, they were slumping. She comes right off the bench after having a game off. Comes in, hits a 453-footer dead center field. Her third homer of the year. RBI is number 8 and 9. And that gives the Neon the lead. Here in the top of the first as Avenue New Inns steps in. Batting 460 with five homers and eight RBIs. See if she can continue this streak. And she gets a hold of this one. This one's deep to center. And they've almost gone back to back. That hits off the very top of the wall. Avenue's going to be safe a second with a stand-up double. She just missed the home run there. Here comes Phillips. Batting 545. Three homers, 10 RBIs. She's been one of the real good positive notes on the team so far. She takes a ball low. Ball two up high. Ball. Th no, it's a strike. That looked inside. Swings at a bad one there. 
Two and two. Couldn't catch the fastball. Strike three. Phillips goes down. So it's two away. Runner at second. Here's the Lushley. Bang 286. No homers yet. Four RBIs. And she shoots one in the left. But that's not going to get the run across. So she's going to be safe for first. And that's going to put runners on the corners with two outs. Which will bring Ricky Ricci up to the plate. Back to 452 with four homers and 15 RBIs. He's going to try to get some more insurance runs. As he takes a strike inside. Ball low. Ball two. That one's low. Hard shot deep to right. This is going to be caught on warning track for out number three. But the Neon score first. They put two on the board off a of bird home run. They lead 2-0 going to the bottom of the first. As Casey Burton steps in for the first time. He's bad 282. One homer and six RBIs. As Gray Smythe looks in. And his first pitch. Granted the right-hand side. Past Hogwash at third. Well, that's going to be a leadoff single for the Bottlenoses. Kenya Vainman steps in. 206 average. Two homers, eight RBIs. And she'll take a strike down low for the first pitch. Fastball misses high. This one's fouled to the right side, but it'll reach the seats. Strike two. Swing and a missed low slider. Strike three. So one away, runner at first. That'll bring Justice Lang up for the first time. Ben 273. He's driven in three, no homers. Let's see Fouls first pitch away. Fouls another one off. It's 0 and 2. Swings and missed the high changeup. Strike three. So Smythe's given up the leadoff hit, but he's come back and struck the next two batters out. Here's Chesley Norton. He's batting 158. He's driven in three with no homers. Slider misses low. This one's fouled off. Whoop, this was way off. Better had to get out of the way on that one. Grounder to second. Avenue will pick it up. Throw to first. That's out number three. That ends the inning. They pick up a leadoff hit, but that's all they get to leave them stranded. Top of the second coming up. The Neon are up 2 nothing. As Hogwash steps in. Bang 413. Four homers and nine RBIs. He takes a ball inside. Ball two way up high. Grounds us from the second. Norton's going to throw it first in time for out number one. So Smythe steps in. He's batting 250. He does have one home run in his career, if I remember correctly. So he's got a little pop in that bet. But he loops this one out the right center. It's going to drop just out of range of the diving second baseman. And Smythe's going to be safe at first with a single. As Baraja steps in for the second time. He singled his first time up. And he's going to single again. This one's in the right field. Smythe thought about going to third, but he doesn't have the speed to make it. So that'll put runners in first and second. With one away. As Overly steps back in for the second time. He's 0 for 1. He could really use a hit here. So he's going to strike on the outside corner. Ball outside. Swings and misses. Strike 2. Fouled it away. Swings and misses a ball in the dirt. And over these down on strikes. That's two away. Here's Bird. She homered her first time up. So all the neon runs are thanks to her at the moment. See if she can get a hold of another. See if throw her a strike on the first pitch. She fouls this one back. It's 0-2. Doesn't homer, but she gets a nice shot into left field. That's going to load the bases up. The Avenue's got a chance to really do some damage here. She doubled her first time. She's tied for the team leading home runs, so she's got the power to do it. 
Can she get a pitch though? This one's taking low for a ball. Strike on the outside. Ooh, swing and miss that one. She was just under it. Popped it up. Foul back behind the plate. This is going to hit the screen. Foul ball. Down low. Ball two. Fouled away. Caught the corner. Strike three. That looked outside. Avenue goes down on strikes. Leave the bases loaded. That one hurts. But they still lead 2 nothing as we go to the bottom of the second. Had a golden opportunity there. Evergreen Fry steps in for the first time. He's batting 077. One homer and four RBIs. He takes a strike inside. Check swing. Called the ball. Change up outside. Fastball misses inside. Three and one. As he lines this one to first. Brahas will grab this one out of the air for out number one. Dalton Pole Bean steps in for the first time. Batting 429. Two RBIs. He takes a curve, not a curve, a change on the outside. Smokes this one into right. But Bird's going to be there to glove this one for out number two. And now the Friedman steps in, batting 156, three RBIs. Hits the first pitch, lines it to second, and Avenue gloves it for out number three. So quickly, one, two, three. Let's go to the top of the third. Neon still up front, two nothing. As Phillips steps in for the second time, he's 0 for 1. Hard shot into right. Gets past the first baseman. Phillips is going to be safe at first with a leadoff single. And that'll bring Mew Lushley in for the second time. She singled her first time. Got under this one. Skies it deep to center. This will be caught for out number one. As Phillips retreats back to first. So here's Ricky Ricci. He's 0 for 1 today. He'll take a strike low on the first pitch. Foul the second one off. So it's 0 and 2. Strike 3 on the outside corner. That outside corner is getting called pretty easily for them. Here's Hogwash. He's 0 for 1. It's two outs now, runner at first. As he'll single up the middle on the first pitch he sees. That'll put runners at first and second with two away. So it's up to Smythe, who singled his first time. But can he get another? There is a runner in scoring position if he can just get a hold of one. He swings through this one. Ball high. Hits it into right, but this is going to land foul. Up the middle, second base, not shortstop's got it, I mean. Over to first, that's out number three. That is the inning. Neon get two hits, but they leave them both stranded. But they still lead 2-0 as you go to the bottom of the third. As Gap Skinner steps in for the first time. Batting 217 with two ribbies. Looks at a strike on the first pitch. Out in front, fouls it to the left, not doesn't foul it, he grounds out to the left side. Shortstop has it. Throws the first. That's out number one. And that'll bring the pitcher up. He's batting 500. Driven in one. He swings the first pitch and misses. Swings over the second one. And pops this one up just in front of the catcher. Phillips is going to run out there and grab this for out number two. So they go back to the top of their order. As Burton steps in for his second time. He singled his first time up. He looks at the first pitch in there for a strike. Creams this one to the right side. Foul out of play. And grounds this one to the right side. Avenue's got it. Lobs it over to first. That's out number three. That'll end that inning. So no runs, no hits. We go to the top of the fourth. Still 2 nothing game. Neon out in front. As they're back to the top of their order. His Barajas is 2 for 2 today with two singles.
We'll take a ball inside. Ball two down low. Fouls this one back. And he's going to get his third single as he hits this one up the middle. So another leadoff single from Barajas. He's three for three now. As Overly steps in for his third time. He's 0 for 2. He could really get a hit. His average is going to drop in the hundreds if he doesn't. He looks at a ball on the first pitch. Ground system to the right side. Second baseman has it. Throws to second. Not in time. Let me safe at second. Had a sure out at first, but they went for the, the lead runner and just couldn't get him. So that puts runners to first and second now. Kaylani Bird steps back in. And she's going to single to the left side. This is going to load the bases up. And looks like Avenue is going to have her second opportunity. And there's a mini at bats with the bases loaded to try to do some damage. She's one for two, but she struck out last time with the bases loaded. As they're going to swap their pitcher out. Gilmore's already done for the day. Carmilla Dorsey's going to come in. 540 ERA. See if Avenue gets anything to hit. She fouls the first pitch off. Fouls another one off. She's in the hole, low and two. Grounds this from the third. Third baseman has it. Over to second in time. Safe at first, though. On the fielder's choice. A run crosses the plate. It's now 3 0 in favor of the Neon. As Phillips steps back in, he's one for two. With one out, runners on the corners. He'll take a strike on the first pitch. Fouls this one back. 0 oh 2. Takes a ball outside. Grounder to second. This should be a double play. Out at second. Over to first. In time. Out number three. That'll end the inning. But the Neon get another run. They now lead 3 0. Going to the bottom of the fourth. As Veyman is up at the plate for her second time. She's 0 for 2. Pops it up right side. Bird is there calling for it. And she will glove this one for out number 1. So one pitch, one out. Here's Justice Lang. 0 for 1. Takes a fastball up high for a strike. Grounds this one to third. Hogwash will throw to first. And that will complete the out number 2. As Norton steps back in, he's 0 for 2. I'm 0 for 1. Hoping to be 0 for 2 on the neon side here. But he's going to hit one just past Avenue into right field. So a two out single for Norton. That'll bring Fry back to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Now batting 075. Hits this one to left. Leslie is there. She'll glove it for out number three. That'll end the inning. They pick up one hit, but they leave him stranded at first. Still 3-0. Neon out in front, going top of the fifth. And here's Leslie here for her third time. She just caught the last out for that top of the inning. No, bottom of the inning. And she takes a strike on the outside. Grounds this one hard up the middle and through. That'll be a leadoff single for Leslie. So Richie comes back up here. She's 0 for 2. Leslie got injured on that one. That's not good. How bad is she hurt? She's hurt pretty bad. She's going to be out for a while. All right, so somebody else has got to play outfield. We don't have anybody else that can play outfield, except for the people that are resting. Well, offside can play out there. I guess offside will play left. Don't know how... She got hurt. Anyway, Richie takes a ball up high, takes a ball inside. He's up in front, 0 and 2. 2 and 0, I should say. That was down low, 3 and 0 now. We should have took that. Skies it in the right. This will be caught for out number one. So here comes Hogwash. He's one for two. Smokes this one deep to left. This one's got a chance to go. Gone. Home run for Hogwash. His fifth of the of the year. 
That's a new career high for him. 387 feet to left field. This fifth homer, RBIs 10 and 11. And that extends the neon lead up to 5 to nothing. As Smythe comes back in, he's one for two. And he'll ground out to second. Norton will throw to first. That's out number two. So back to the top of the order, here's Barajas. It's three for three. Gal got his average over 300. Takes a strike on the outside corner. Grounds it to the left side. Shortstop will have it. Over to first. Just beats him by maybe half a step. That'll end the inning. If the Neon get two more runs off a hogwash home run, they lead 5 nothing. Going to the bottom of the fifth. Out hitting the bottom of the fifth. 13-2. Here's Polbean. He's 0-1. for 1. He takes a fastball on the outside. Strike one. Out in front of the changeup. Strike two. Swings and misses the high changeup. Strike three. One away. As Freeman comes back up. She's over one right now. Swings the low fastball. Misses it. Check swing. But caught the inside corner. Strike two. Pop foul left side. This will reach the seats. We'll do this again. Grounds to short. Reach you'll have it. Over to first. Out number two. And Skinner's back to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Grounds to short again. Reach you'll try this one more time. Over to first. Out number three. That is the inning. Another 1 2 3 inning. Neon is still out in front. 5 0. Going to the top of the six. As Overly comes back in. He's over three. They should have gave him a hit the last time up. Yeah, he should have got a hit. Down low for a ball. And he smokes this one to left. This will be a hit. This is going to go all the way to the wall. And Overly's going to round the base on his way to second. He's going to slide in safely with a leadoff double. He should be 2 for 4. So I know they tried to throw the runner out second. They couldn't get him. And Overly was safe on that play as well. Spurs steps back in. She got the scoring started in the first inning. This one's way outside for a ball. Strike down low. Hits the center. This is going to be caught for out number two. Out number one, I should say. Getting ahead of myself. And here's Avenue. She's one for three. She's had a chance to drive in a crap ton of runs this game, but just couldn't do it so far. She takes a ball outside. Smokes this one in the left field gap. This is going to go all the way to the wall. It's going to drive in a run. She rounds the base, goes into second with an RBI double. And that extends the neon lead up to six to nothing. As Phillips comes back to the plate, he's one for three. And they're going to make a change. Dorsey's coming out. Bam Park's going to come in to pitch with a 960 ERA. He's already tired. Skinner's going to come out at third, so they're going to take him away. Alessandro Davis is going to come in to play third. He's a faster player, slightly better fielder, but a worse arm. So I don't really understand that move. And the first pitch Phillip sees is taken for a strike. Grounded up the middle. Shortstop will grab it over to first in time to get Phillips. But Avenue runs over to third. So two away, runner at third. And offside's up at the plate for her first time. She's 231 average. One homer, three RBIs. She's got a chance to drive in one here. She takes a ball low. Fouls this one back. Swings and misses the outside pitch. One and two. Little liner to second. Over to first. That's out number three. But they now get another run. It's now 6-0. So we go to the bottom of the sixth. And it looks like the Neon have this one well in hand at the moment. As Davis steps in for his first time of the day. He's betting 067 with one RBI. He takes a strike low. Hits this one up the middle. 
off of Avenue's glove. He's going to be safe at first with an infield single. Avenue gave it a good try, but just couldn't reel it in. So runner at first, here's Burton. He's one for two. He takes a fastball in there for a strike. Chopper to second. Avenue throws to second, gets the out there. Over to first, not in time. But they did get the lead runner. That's Feynman's up at the plate for her third time. She's 0 for 2. Still got a runner at first, but now one away. Check swing, but just misses inside for a ball. Slider catches the corner. Fastball up high, take it for a strike. Chopped foul right at the plate, just got a piece. Swing and a miss the inside changeup. That's strike three for out number two. There's Lang, he's 0 for 2 so far today. Still got a runner at first. First pitch in there for a strike up high. Slider misses low. Off speed pitch, hit to short. Ricci will throw to first. That completes the out, and that'll end the inning. They pick up a hit, but they leave them stranded. Top of the seventh coming up. Still a 6 nothing lead, Neon out in front. Ricci's up at the plate for his fourth time. He's 0 for 3. Takes a ball way up high. No way up high. This guy's got no accuracy right now. Right down the middle for a strike. Grounded to the left side. Shortstop has it. Throws the first and in time by about a step. So Richie's retired for the fourth time. It's hogwash. He's two for three. Hit one home run his last time up. He takes a strike. Pops it up on the infield. Shortstop retreats a few steps. And no glove for out number two. So Smythe steps back in for his fourth time. He's singled his first time up, though. And he hits this one up in the center. This will drop for his second hit. He's now two for four. So a two-out single for Smythe. As we go to the top of the order, it's Brahas. It's three for four. Three singles. And he's got another single here. This is going to go all the way to the wall, past the center fielder. This is going to drive in a run. As Smythe goes in to score, Brahas goes into third safely. As the third baseman couldn't corral the throw in. So that should be an RBI triple for Brahas. As Overly comes back in. He's one for four. Pops this one up behind the plate. This would be an easy catch for an out. Number three, that'll end the inning. But Neon get one more run of insurance. They're now wins. I mean, leading seven nothing, out hitting the team seventeen to three. So everything's working perfectly for the Neon this game. They needed this after those last two. As Norton comes in, he's one for two. Smokes this one into right. This is going to drop for a hit. Bird will fire it to first, but not in time. So a leadoff single for Norton. As Fry comes up for the third time. It's 0 for 2. And, well, Smythe, let's say, his day's getting close to finish, but not really. He's only 54 pitches. This one's taken for a strike inside. Grounded past Barajas at first in the right field. So back-to-back -back singles. Puts the runners at first and second with nobody out. And Pole Bean's up for his third time. He's 0 for 2. Taps this one to the right side, just past the pitcher. Only plays at first. That's out number one. Runners advance to second and third. As Freeman comes in, 0 for 2. And Smice in danger of losing his shutout. This first pitch is taken low for a ball. This one's fouled away. This is high, two and one. Just missed, three and one. Taken low for a strike, full count. Grounded up the middle and through. That'll end the shutout. That's an RBI single.
It's now seven to one. Bottlenose is behind by six. So one out. Runners on the corners. Here's Bam Park. Take that back. Bam Park's coming out. Roger Oldman's going to come in to pinch hit. Batting 450 with a homer and three RBIs. He looks at a strike down low. Fastball's in there. Strike two. Popped up foul. Hogwash gives chase, but he's not going to be able to reach this. As it drops foul on foul territory. So we're going to do this one again. Still 0-2. That was taken for a ball. Fastball up high. Taken for ball two. Hit in the left. Offside is there. But can't make the catch. It's going to drop off the ground. He gets the ball into home plate. but Not in time as another run crosses. That's going to be an RBI single. Here's Alessandro Davis. He's one for one. As the bottom of have now scored twice now. Still have runners at first and second with one out. There's a fastball in there for a strike. So this one's fouled off. Slider down in the dirt. Fastball misses the outside zone. Change up. Take it for a ball up high. Full count. Fouled away. Grounded up the middle. Richie throws second. Out number one. Throw to first. Not in time. But they do get one out. But that at least put runners at the corners. Two away now. As Burton comes back up. One for three. And first pitch from Smythe. Grounded to the left side. Hogwash has it. Throw to first. Not in time. Just late on the throw. And another run across the plate off that infield single. So it's now 7-3 to three as Veyman comes in. Runners at first and second. Two away. This is probably going to be the last batter that Smythe faces. As that first pitch is swung out and missed. This one misses outside for a ball. Out in front of the changeup. Strike two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Chase that one out. That'll end the inning as Oldman comes back out. Imara Moro is going to come into pit. Amani, I should say. 11.81 ERA. She's also tired already. But the Bottlenose has put three on the cross of the board that time around. They still trail by four as we go to the top of the eighth. As Bird steps in for her fifth time. She's three for four. She's having a nice day so far with a homer and two singles. And she takes a strike on the first pitch. Hits this one in the left. This is going to be caught just above the grass. That's out number one. Here's Avenue. She's two for four. Two doubles. Not that bad of a day, but she's thrown away eight RBI chances so far. That was taken for a ball. Strike on the outside corner. Grounded up the middle. Second baseman makes a diving attempt. Goes off the glove, and Avenue's going to be safe at first with an infield single. So that's her third hit. As Phillips comes in, it's one for four. He takes a ball outside. Fouled away, it's one and one. Hit into right, this is going to drop for a hit. And Phillips is going to be safe for the singles. Avenue rounds the bases, going into third, just beats the throw. So heads up base running for Avenue. She advances the third. That's going to run us at the corners. One away. Here's offside. She's 0 for 1. She lines this one on the right. Foul. Swings and misses. 0 and 2. Hit deep to center. This may be deep enough to score Avenue. Is this one's going to be caught for an out. Avenue tags. And this she's not even yeah, this is even close. That ball gets away. But it doesn't matter. As Phillips is caught trying to advance on that bad throw. So that's a double play. That is the inning. But not before they score another run. It's now eight to three. That's just bad base running on Phillips. He's too slow. 
But the day is over for Smythe as he's coming out. And most of the bullpen should still be pretty tired after that last game. They are. I guess Odom's going to come in. She's got a 123 RA, so she's not doing too bad. And her first pitch is taken for a strike. This is grounded left side, past the diving Ricci. Yeah, this will be a leadoff single. That seems to be an issue with the Neon lately. They're giving a lot of leadoff singles. As Norton comes back in, two for three. He's got two singles. Runner at first, nobody out. First pitch taken for a strike. Smokes this one to the left. This is going to go all the way to the wall. Hits the very top of the wall. So that's back-to-back -back singles, but the runners, lead runner is going to advance over to third. That's runners at the corners now with nobody out. At the bottom, those are threatening to score more. Here's Fry. Takes the first pitch down low in the dirt. Fastball just caught the corner. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. It's now one and two. Grinded left side. Just foul. Shatters the bat. This popped up on the infield. Let's it drop, and they're going to get the lead runner out at second base. Still got runners at the corners. Here's Dalton Pullbean. This one's in there for a strike. Swing, going to miss the fastball. 0-2. Check swing, but it's in the dirt. Swings over this one and misses. That was in the dirt. Strike three. So it's two away. Still got runners at the corners. As Freeman comes in for the fourth time. She's got one of their RBIs. But they're still threatening to score some runs here. This one's inside for a ball. Check swing. Just... No, that one's in there for a strike. Foul the way. Strike two. Just missed low. Missed low again. Full count. Runner first going to be going. This one's popped up. Ricci gives chase. And left fielder gives way. Ricci's going to take control and grab it for out number three. So the bottom nose has got two hits to lead off the inning, but they couldn't do anything with them. Let's go to the last frame. Knee on the leading by five. Here's Ricci. He's 0 for 4. I think he's the only starter that doesn't have a hit. More is coming out. Jackson Baloney is going to come in to pitch. 4.0 ERA. Friedman's coming out in left field. Carlisle De La Rosa is going to come in. Why they didn't have him in the first place, I don't know. He's a way better player. Even his morale's down just a bit. Check swing for a ball outside. Hard shot up the middle. Short softs head over to first. That's out number one. So Richie has been snake bit this whole game. As Hogwash steps back in. Two for four. He's got one of their home runs. He'll take a ball low. Swings and misses. Swing and miss again. He's just under that one. One and two. Grounds this one to the right side. First baseman will pick it up. Run to the bag. And that's out number two. As Odom comes in. But she's going to get a pinch hit four. But well, Roach has still got good morale, so let's bring him in. So Roach takes the ball on the first pitch. As he fouls this one back. Fouls another one back. He's batting 235, so it's not the best hitter. But As he pops this one off left side, third baseman is going to have an easy play. Gloves it for out number three. That ends the inning. So that'll end the top of the ninth. Guess Matthews come in. So we go to the bottom of the ninth. Neon are up by five. It's the last chance for the bottom noses. Here's Del Rosa coming in for the first time. Batting 174. That could be why he wasn't playing. Driven in three. So he takes a strike inside for first pitch. Grounds this one foul. 
quickly in the hole. Oh, and two. How's this one back? Up the middle and through past the diving Richie. So another leadoff single. Davis comes back in. One for two. He's got one single. Takes a strike up high. String and a miss. Strike two. Ball down low. Hannah's warming up in the bullpen in case they need him. If they score one, he's coming in. That was taken for a ball. This was fouled away. Grounded up the middle and through. His back to back singles again. As the bottlenose is threatened once more. Burton comes in, two for four. I think he drove in and runs last time. And Port Matthews is. Yeah, he's got to come out. His stats are. He must have got injured. Yeah, he got injured somehow. I didn't see it happen. So he's got to come out. Oh, three better minimum. He can't come out. That's right. Oh, he's got a bat for this guy. And he's going to give up another single. That's going to load the bases up. As Veyman comes up, 0 for 4. But she's got a golden opportunity here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Matthews has got to come out of this game. Hannah's going to come in and hopefully seal the door. He's blown one save, but hopefully he won't do another. First pitch, ground up the middle. It's going to be out at second, out at first for a double play. They're going to give up a run, but there's now two outs. As the Neon are up 8-4, to four. as Lane comes in for his fifth time, he's 1-4. for four. He'll take a strike up high. Fouled it away, he's in the hole, low and 2 they're down to their last strike. Hits the right side foul, this is going to be out of play. Bird can't get there in time. Grounded to the right side. Fair ball down the line. It hugged it all the way. That's going to drive another run. So an RBI single. It's now an 8-5 game. As Norton comes in for his fifth time. He's 3-4. for four. As they stay alive. Still got one more out to go. Takes a strike on the first pitch. This one's hit the center. This one's going to drop for a hit. So Hannibal's lights out last season, but he's not so dominant so far this season. At least this early on. As Fry comes in for his fifth time, he's one for four. They're going to take him out. Jasper Undermeyer's going to come in. Has no hits as of yet. He looks at a strike. Granted, up the middle, Avenue throws the first. That is out number three. That ends the inning. That ends the game. Neon hang on to win this one. Eight to five victory for the Neon. So they reverse their losing streak that they were just starting on. And the bottom is caught up. They were getting hit out hit pretty badly. They caught up 19 to 15. On the Neon side, who are we going to get the best batter to? Probably Bird. Three for five. Scored once, got the one home run, drove in two. She got the scoring started for the Neon. They never trailed after that. Bottlenose side, we'll give this one to probably Norton. Yeah, probably Norton. Four for five. Scored once, didn't do anything else. Smythe picked up the win, despite all this. With seven innings, gave up eight hits, three runs, struck out five. He's now 3-0 and in the year. Hannah picks up his first, no, not his first save. It's his second save, but it's his first save in a while. Went that one inning, gave up two hits. That's his second save, though. Gilmore picked up the loss for the bottom noses with three innings only. Gave up 11 hits, or three earned runs, struck out four, gave up the one home run to Bird. He's now 0 1 on the year. And every pitcher after that gave up at least one, except for the final one. Top three stars, Brahas. Really? I guess, well, I guess he could. He went 4 for 5. I think it's the most hits of anybody on either team. He got a triple, though, which is rare for him. Drove in one, scored twice. Bird, number 2 star, 3 for 5 with a homer. 2 RBIs and runs scored. 
Avenue, third star, three for five, with two doubles, two RBIs, and a run scored. But she had a chance to do so much damage this game. Twice she came up with the bases loaded and couldn't do anything with them. But that'll do it. Neon in that brief two-game losing streak. They get another win on their win column. And they now have a, a, the all-time advantage in the win series against them. They're now three and no two and one against each other. Let's see. Squelch wants a new face for the Tropical Swamp campaign. Who are you gonna suggest? Lozano plus fifteen. What's well, a bonus? That's a plus to either one. We'll give it to Lozano, even though we had a really bad game last time out. He is our young rookie. Let's try to keep him around. And we got twenty-one games to go through. They put, jeez, they got a lot of games in between our games so far. But let's get to it. Underworld and Fantastics. Fantastics beat the Underworld fairly easily, four to one. Spider Bears and Sewer Snakes. It's another close one. Spider Bears double them up, four to two. Favorites and Bolters. This was a tie game going into late, but Bolters won that one, three to two. Bars and Advocates. Advocates look like they're gonna win. Nope, 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 nope. It's close. They pulled out in the ninth inning, nine to eight. War Wagons on the road against the Bandits. Bandits put a beating on them after they put a beating on us last game. 11 to 7 there. Grays and Serpents. Serpents win by 1, 4 to 3. Razzles and Philosophers. Razzles put a bunch up early. Yeah, that's enough to, for the rest of the game. 10 to 4 victory there. Champs and Riddles. Riddles going to win this one, 7 to 3. Tundras and Machos. Machos score early and often on this one. Hang on to win 9 to 5. Lucky Breaks and Gobblers. Lucky Breaks have lost a couple in a row, but they win this one. I don't know what happened on that one. That one skipped. Elephants and Guardians. Guardians win that one 4-3. to three. Water Bullets and Favorites. So we just beat the Water Bullets pretty good. They come back and win their next game 7-5. to five. Bolters and Craniums. Bolters, ooh, they almost lost that one. They were tr winning big on that one, but they lose. Well, I mean, they win, I should say. Razzles shut out the Sewer Sneaks 8 nothing. Advocates and Underworld. Close game to start with, but the Underworld start pouring it on. They win 8-2. to two. Fantastics and Greys. Greys score first, but they well, they win in 10th inning. 8-6 to six victory there. Spots of Philosophers. Philosophers make short work of the spots. They, oof. They just continue to pour. That was 16 to nothing win. Ancients and Outlaws. Close game. Extra innings. Ancients win that one 5-4. to four. Freedoms and Bottlenoses. 5-1 to one victory there. I think I had it wrong the first time. Bards beat the Bandits. 5-4. to four. Yeah, I think I said the water bullets, or was it the bottom of the, Yeah, I said the water bullets last time, I think, where I said we beat them. Never mind, that's what happens when you have two water teams. Either way, that's it for this one. Looking at the standings, water bullets lead their division now. 8-4 record, one game over the energetics. Guardians now have firm control over their division. So the defending champs are first in their division by half a game over the Bolters. Razzles lead their division with an 8-5 record, one game over the Philosophers. Serpents lead their division by a game and a half over the Greys. Lucky Breaks get back on their winning side, but they, sh they barely have a lead here. One game over the War Wagons. And the Neon finally get back on a win, but they're tied with the Spider Bears for the division lead. The Ancients only half a game back. I think this is the closest, yeah, this is the closest division of all of them right now. All right, summary. We got scroll down, scroll down. Okay, we got Sosa gets signed by the Bards, and Woody Portillo is getting dropped. So they changed pitchers. Dropped a C minus, picked up a C plus. Lost a bunch of junk, grabbed a bunch of philosophy. So don't know how that's going to work out for him. As Tent lowers his salary demand again. Nope, get back. Grace Smythe, a little overconfident. His junk dropped by one. That's not good, but it's not the end of the world. Zachary Butts gets dropped by the advocates as Aaron McStix comes in and replace him. So they changed their closing pitcher. Went from a B plus to a B minus. And saved about four million in salary almost. Ribeye dropped his salary to man, but nobody wants him. Nobody cares. Zariah Sparks signs with the champs now. Garrison is dropped, so they changed relief pitchers. They dropped an A-minus reliever and picked up a C-plus. Freed up a crap ton of salary, too. Mm. That's a good reliever. 
but he's going to be asking for way too much money for us to pick him up. Ribeye, what's this? His arm strength drops by nine. Ouch. So he's even worse than he was before. And we've got a training opportunity for Dantas. Some more accuracy with a chance for more accuracy. And a chance to gain a trait and get a new pitch. If he wasn't so old, we might go for that one, but he's 37 years old. I don't think we want to spend 700 grand on that. We'll hang on to our training budget because we still don't earn any training budget per game. So that'll do it for this one. Next game is against the Spider Bear. So it's a, a game against the two division leaders. These two are tied for the division leads. Whoever wins this one is going to be leading the division. And the Neon pretty much dominated the Spider Bears last season. I don't think they lost to them at all. Love Drummond is going to be on the mound for the Neon, so they're going to send their ace out. She's 1-1. One one. She kind of rebounded after her last game. Got her ERA down. She's down to 379. And Brippy Romano, is, he's 1-0 with a 348 ERA. Could throws a lot of junk, so that could be an interesting pitcher to face. Anyway, we'll see you back here for game 13. This could be a good one. Two teams tie for first. See you then.